Hi guys, welcome to my channel again, and it is me, me Neil, um, and I will be showing you your very first magic trick. And this trick, perhaps, this just this very trick, um, got me into magic. It convinced me to start the magic in cards. So, and so I'm grateful for this magic trick, and the person who showed me the trick, I'm grateful for that man too. For it has brought me a lot of good tricks, and now I am a very good magician, and I show my family, my whole family, all my tricks, and now my big brother and my little sister has one wanting to start magic, so they've been starting to watch YouTube videos just like me, but for I have a lot more progress than each of them combined. Anyway, this trick, uh, it... I told you again, um, I'll tell you again, it um, got me into magic, it convinced me to start magic, and I hope it does the same for you, so let's start. So, first, uh, the magician shows, shuffles a deck of cards. Uh, also, also um, before I start the magic trick, I will t um, just want to say, that I will show you the trick and then I'll show you how to do it. But first, I gotta demonstrate it. So, the magician he takes a deck of cards and he shuffles them. Punches them together and shuffles them, but one more time. So, after doing this, so. He shows the spectator how it's all shuffled and shows the back of each card. All shuffled, all is fair. Now, he asks the spectator, gives the pilot to the spectator, and asks him, asks him to pick three cards of the same number but of different suits. It has to be different suits. So pick three cards of the same number and remember each suit. So the spectator takes the deck and picks one card. Uh, he picks two cards and three. Now, in this case, the spectator has picking, chosen the ace of diamonds, the ace of spades, and the ace of, oh, sorry, the ace of clubs and the ace of spades. Now, in, the, in this case, usually um, the magician wouldn't see because he would have a real spectator, for I don't have a spectator, so I will be having to look at the cards. But a magician w really wouldn't have to do this. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with like reading their mind or something like that. So there. Now, magician says, whilst you are memorizing your cards, I will um, make four groups of of uh, with card with the cards I have right now. So he makes one, two, three, four car four piles. One. Two, three, and four. So, <clears throat> he has to spectate to put the first card, put his first card on pile one. So, the spectator does. And, he cut, and then this, he has to spectate to cut a little bit of pile two onto pile one. Then he has the same thing of pile two. And then he cuts a little pile three. Then puts the same thing, pile three, and then puts the whole deck on top of each other. Now after this is done, he says, I'll do a two pile, a face up pile and a face down pile. Now, in the face up pile, if you see any of your cards, just say stop. Okay? So let's start. So the um, magician starts stealing out the cards. And the spectator never sees any of the cards of his cards. And so uh, the magician asked, have you seen your card yet? And 
Spectator says, no, I have done. So the magician says, well, that's very strange. Let's do it one more time with the face now. So he does it again. And so, Spectator sees an ace right there. Sees ace. But it is not his ace. He chose the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs, and the ace of spades, not the ace of hearts. So he continues dealing out the cards. But he does not say stop. So the uh, magician says, have you seen a card yet? And the spectator says, no. So the magician says, well, that's actually very strange. You should have seen it by now. The spectator starts getting worried, so he does it again. He goes out again, and the magician says, we've dealt out three quarters of the deck. Have you seen your card? And the magician and the spectator says, no. So the spectator says, let's do it one more time and see if you see it. One, two, three, four. So the spectator never sees his cards, which remains that these three last cards are his. Now, this is an amazing trick, and now we'll be learning how to do it. So basically, it all matters about the four groups that you do. So you first, let's just say, picks out three cards. So you say pick out three cards of well, any stuff. So pick out the ace. Um the spectator picks out another ace and another ace. So he has these three cards. We usually wouldn't see but in this case we don't have a spectator so and you guys are just learning so you can't practice on someone else. But they will know how the trick is done that. So now you have these cards left. So you shuffle the deck, do an overhand shuffle. And then you say, we're gonna be doing four cards while you memorize your, uh, your we're gonna do, sorry, we're gonna be doing four piles while you got you um, memorize um, your three cards. And do not tell me them. Then you also say, to tell the spectator to keep cards he has and so when Spectre gives you back the, pile, the deck you start four piles so the first pile has to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten cards the first pile is ten cards the next pile is fifteen cards the next pile is fifteen cards again and the next last pile is nine cards so so while um well you probably would think like the spectator would like like they'll see you doing it and they'll find it suspicious, but don't worry, just have a chat with them while you're getting at the car. Just don't get distracted while having a chat. So when you count at one. Uh, um also an easy way to um count three cards out um uh run cards out ten cards out is to push three cards at a time in clumps. One, two, three so three cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's nine, and then you just push out one more card. Ten. Now you do the same thing with fifteen because it's divisible by three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And then the last pile, you don't have to do the fifteen again, you can just do the nine, which is a lot easier. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the last card uh, will obviously be. 15. And so you ask, say, you ask, tell the spectator that to put one card, their first card, after they memorized it, onto pile one, the pile with 10 cards. Then they ask them, you ask them to cut um, some cards away from the second pile, which is 15 cards, and you ask them to put uh, and put on top of 10 cards, the 10 cards pile, the first pile, and then you say, Cut uh, now. Put pile two. Um, wait, your second card on pile two. Then they cut fifth. Um, a little bit of some cards from the fifteen card pile. Pile three. Then you ask them to put the card in pile three, and then you put pile four. The whole pile four on top of that, and then you put pile three on top of pile two, and pile two on top of pile one. 
and it uh, don't shuffle the deck well. Like most magicians would, but they're pretty lucky when they shuffle it because when I shuffle it, it will not work. The trick will not work. So convince the the person to not shuffle the deck. I mean, don't ask them to shuffle. Just say, now I will deal two cards, two piles, and one face up pile, one face down pile, and while well, facing doing the face up pile, um, if you see your card. Then just just say stop any of your cards. If you see any of your cards in the face up pile, then just say stop whenever. So you start, and you have to start dealing face up. You have to start dealing on the face up pile. Or then a trick will work. Start dealing on the face up pile, and then face down, face up, face down. And then you keep doing this. You can have a chat while the, you're doing it. You can be like, how was your day? Or like, how are you today? Or are you feeling nervous about this trick? Please. I am um, to pretend you're nervous that the trick won't work. And look at that, that's an ace. Look, they picked three aces, ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, and the ace of spades, but they did not pick up the ace of clubs. So remember, that's not their card. It's okay. So while uh, stealing again, you say, geez, did you see a card? We don't. Uh, did you see a card yet? And you, they say, no. And you say, that's very strange. So, and you say, we've dealt already half the deck. Let's do it one more time. And now you do face up again. Oh, sorry. You have to deal face up again. On the face up pile, starting with the face up pile, you start dealing face up again. And then keep doing this. And in the end, you say, have you seen your card yet? And they will say, no. And you're like, that's very, very strange. Like, we've dealt uh three quarters of the deck you must have seen your card by now and so they will actually start getting nervous now and so just continue this and this time you deal face down so you start with the face down pile face down face down and oh wait that's one of our cards they go with the face down pile and there uh, and say so we've dealt three and a half quarters of the deck have you seen your card if not then that's very strange they'll say no so you'll be like Let's try it one more time. Then you do what? Face up again. Last time, and then you say, hmm, your card, have your cards, were your cards in there? And they say no. So you say, then the, I think these are your cards. And it will be their cards. Now remember, when you're dealing with face up cards and face down cards, the first, first time you deal, it's face up. Start with face up. The second time, start with face up. Third time, you start with face down. And the fourth time, you start with face up. And thanks for watching, guys, and congratulations on your first magic trick. I hope this will get you more into magic.